my home studio is very small. <laughs> it's just in a little corner of my basement, but um, it's functional. It has everything that I need here, and it's actually quite, I've set it up so everything kind of works. So some of the texture that I put on the pots is made from found objects. This series is a series that I call the Granny Series because I get the pattern in the clay with this doily that my grandmother crocheted. And I like to um, kind of, you know, show the love I have for my granny with by putting her, her handiwork into the pots that I'm making. So all I do is I, this is a hand-built pot, so I make a slab of clay and basically just roll. I roll the clay into the doily and then it gets the texture. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a um, thrown bowl and I'm making it into this bowl. And then basically what I do is I just scratch in. So I do the circles first and I'm just pushing in about an eighth of an inch, just enough to make a mark. So then what I do is I just scratch it with little lines, but it gives kind of a handmade and, I don't know, like a little bit of an organic feel to it, I guess. This is called the Groove Series. I don't know why. I try to choose names that are giving a little bit of a nod to the 50s and 60s and that have a bit of fun to them. So one of the techniques that I use is a, it's called a paper resist. And so what I need to do is I need to apply wet paper to a wet piece. So it's kind of, it's what we call leather hard. It's just about, it's dry enough to handle, but it's not dry enough that um, it's bone dry. So what I do is I take little pieces of paper and I get them wet. And then I can stick them onto the piece in a pattern. And the paper sticks. So it's kind of like I'm making a stencil of where I'm going to paint. So then what happens is I can make, I can start to build shapes in my pieces. This design is kind of a random combination of shapes. And now I can paint it. And this is, it's a commercial underglaze that I use. So for something like this, I need to paint it three um, coats. And once I've done that, and I've gone all the way around with my paper and my patterns, and I've gone through three coats, then I can take off the pieces and I have a nice clean pattern. This is um, a new series that I'm working on. It's called the Prairie Fauna series. And so what I do with these ones is I have decals of animals from the prairies, a buffalo and a moose and some hares and a coyote. And so I put the decals on top of the piece once it's been bisque fired and then glaze fired then the decal goes on top so it gets fired a third time with the decal. So you can find my pieces at the gallery shop at the Art Gallery of St. Albert.